and we'll start with your past with the three of swords also excuse me although there is an element of sorrow that is undeniable when this card appears what lies on the other side of the sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. Allow yourself to fully ex allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up now so that you can move beyond it. In general, this card can point to very deep emotional issues that must be addressed before you can move on. Denying Pain does not make it go away any more than denying a broken leg making it heal. Also, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now, but do not wallow in it. You, you do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long. However, only you can decide, only you can, however, only you can decide how long is long enough. Others can't decide it for you. Okay, and below that, we have the Hierophant, which is very much about doing the right thing. You may be struggling with issues and are unsure about what is right for you to do. Know that the answers are within you. Remember that the right thing is what is right for you also. This is also a card that is very much about spirituality. Everything from traditional religion to earth-centered spirituality and any other spiritual notions that you can conceive of. There may be a tension between your idea of spirituality and the right thing and the ideals of others around you. So stand up for your own beliefs. Okay, so that was in your recent past. So since it's clarified by the Hierophant, you may have in the past experienced sorrow and pain. So just remember not to take your problems out on others and that by doing the right thing is always the best thing. Okay, and next we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords, like all court cards, can sometimes stand in for a literal person in our lives. If so, in this case, the page will represent a person who is younger than you. Pages also often indicate that a message is coming. In this instance, it may not be what you are hoping to hear. In general, the Page of Swords tell us that the court may be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or in general, stepping on the toes of others. You may need to study the body language of others and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism from others. You are likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy now, so use it wisely. Then below the card is clarified by the Five of Wands, which often refers to competition. Usually this is in the career work area it's usually in the career work arena, but sometimes it can refer to romantic rivals. 
Don't be afraid of competing right now. Know that you have something to offer and can be successful. You can be successful, but you have to try to see results. When this card appears, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever now. So hold your head up high and have faith that you will end up in the place that is right for you. You may be thinking of making a career change. Know that this can be successful too. So since the current is clarified by the page of wands, and this is in the present, it's basically someone may be trying to let you know you have rivals or competition at work, or this can be a romantic situation. But just know that you have something to offer, and you can be very successful. Okay, and then we have the Six of Cups, which is often a part about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. We all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And below that, we have the five of pentacles, which can, it can point to a time when life is feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there is always help available when we need it from sources both seen and unseen. You may feel alone, but you have the capacity to change that. So reach out to others. You feel being left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you are the only one that is suffering. Realize that this is not the case, so do the best you can. Okay, so this will be your challenge. And make sure to do the best you can with what you have. But remember that the wise thing to do, if one needs help, is to go out and ask for it. Okay, and then your challenge is clarified by the five of pentacles. Okay, so next would be your, the next would be your outcome. The next is your outcome, which is the tower card. The tower card means that you're basically trying to hold too tightly to the status quo which can be disastrous right now. Roll with the changes. It is likely that some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. This doesn't have to be dire. Change is the nature of life and trying to prevent it is like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. If you have been building castles in the air, this may be 
the time that some of them came crashing down to earth. That's only a problem if you let it be. You will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality too. Okay, so your outcome is clarified by the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands often indicate that you may be attending a social event, one which will be way more fun than you are anticipating. So go and have a good time. Business is likely to be going very well at this time and you will be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you. Although this is a positive card in a reading, it shows also a need to keep your wits about you. That although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but know that you are still in a building up phase and now is not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can also sometimes mean that you will be moving your place of residence. So wrong with any changes that come your way, attend special events, and always remember to have fun. And that was your outcome. Okay, Aquarians, I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching.